Hey my friend, I want to welcome you here to this short little video presentation I put together. It kind of goes uh, hand in hand with the article that I've been writing. I've been writing some articles recently on um, a subject that comes up a lot in the network marketing industry. And what it really is a question that I get asked all the time on my blog and from you know my team and a lot of the people um, you know all over the internet and, all over, and around the industry in general um, being a leader in the industry I get a lot of people that are constantly coming up and asking me Eric what's the number one most important thing and what's the reason that somebody should get involved with net with network marketing and I kinda struggle with that question uh, the two top two answers I'll give you number one would be the personal development the personal growth that a person receives and gets out of it uh, I like to say that network marketing is almost like a self-development course wrapped up in a business. It's phenomenal. But when you look at the business side of it, from an income-deriving side of it, the most powerful thing about network marketing, and this is what I wanted to show you here, this real simple graph, is really what's called residual income. That is what it's all about. Um, anybody that is in business or is looking to get into business or you know, understands a little bit about financial literacy, if I like to kind of use that term. If you don't know what residual income is, let me explain it to you. But people that do know what it is, you know how powerful residual income is. Residual income is this, and it's very simple. Residual income means that you do something once, you make something once, or you create something, okay, one time, but you get paid for the rest of your life. So you get paid over and over and over again. So give you an example. Um, let's use Stephen King. We all know him as an author, at least in the United States here. Stephen King is a best-selling author. He writes, you know, I don't know, he's probably written a thousand books by now, but he's written so many books. But here's the cool thing about what he does. He writes the book one time. Okay, it might take him a year to write a book. But now every time that book is sold, he gets paid. He gets a check in the mail. Another quick example is anybody who's a songwriter, not the singer, but the songwriter, whoever writes a song, Every time that song then gets played on the radio, the writer receives a commission, or you know, a, a uh, they're, they're paid every time that that is that is um, done. So now that person, that songwriter, wrote that song one time, somewhere they had this idea, they wrote a great song, they got it into an artist's hands, an artist put it together and sang a great version of their what they wrote, and now they get paid for the rest of their life. That's residual income. Do something once and get paid for life. Now, if you ask me, that makes a lot more sense than doing something over and over and over again and have to, an example of a job or even a business that's you're deriving income from it, but every time you have to earn income, you have to start all over again. I'll give you a quick example. Before I go onto this chart here, which I want to explain to you, let me give you a quick example. I have a friend of mine who's a realtor. She's a very successful realtor. She makes a six-figure income, high six-figure income, especially in this market, as this video is made in uh, 2010. And I can tell you right now that at the end of the year, though, at the beginning of the year, at January 1st of every single year, she has to start over again. And she has to sell more houses in order to continue to get paid and live the lifestyle that she lives and to pay her bills and all that good stuff. So I always joke with her. I said, well, why don't you do something once and get paid f for a lifetime? And that's what residual income is about. And that's what network marketing is about. So let's look at this quick chart here, okay? Now, financial advisors use the 10-year U.S. Treasury bond as a benchmark to calculate how much money you would need to invest to receive a certain amount of income. The following schedule below here will highlight the amount of money you would need to have invested to earn the income stream that a network marketing business can give you if you develop the equivalent in residual income. So it's real simple. Let's assume, pretend for a minute, that you're in company XYZ, because this is just a generic training, there's no company here that we're talking about in general. You're in company XYZ, and you're making, let's say a couple months go by, and you build up a business, an organization, a team of people with your efforts and their efforts, you're making $300 per month. So an annual earnings is $3,600 per year. Well, look at that. That means that's the equivalent, if you were to make, okay, let me explain this the best way I can. If you make $300 a month or $3,600 a year, the asset you need in the bank, you need $90,000 in the bank to earn that sort of on interest on an average, say, U.S. Treasury bond percentage basis. Okay, that kind of fluctuates. But here's the cool thing. In network marketing, you don't have to have the $90,000 asset in the bank. You don't have to have any money in the bank. But if you still are making $300 a month or $3,600 a year, you have the equivalent of $90,000 asset, right? Let's go down the chart. What if you had $600 per month in your network marketing business? $7,000 plus a year? Now you have an asset of 
$180,000 a year. But again, you could have you could have zero in the bank. Zero. Your bank account could literally be at zero. Totally even. But you've created an asset of $180,000 because you have a residual income stream. If you move down the chart a little bit more, let's just say you wanted to make $2,000 per month or $25,000 a year. The asset that you would need in your bank account would be $630,000. That's really powerful. Okay, now think about that. Let's do one more. Let's say you wanted to make, we'll just keep it still pretty simple. These aren't huge numbers. If you make $2,000 per week or 109000 a year, the asset that you would need, money saved in the bank, would be $2.7 million. So I'll give you a quick tip for everybody listening here. And this works really well when you're sitting across from somebody and you're showing them your business plan. You might want to say to somebody, if I could show you how to create a $2.7 million asset in the next three, four, five years developing your own network marketing business, do you think that would be easier to do it that way than trying to save $2.7 million at your job or at your current business or whatever that person's currently doing to derive an income? See the power in that? So now, here, let me say it one more time. If you're making $2,100 a week or $100,000 a year, you're making, you have an asset of about $2.7 million. But here's the cool thing you don't actually have to have the two point seven million dollars in the bank because you're getting paid like you do right because residual income is like having a hypothetical asset and here's one more thing you might not have thought about that two point seven million dollar asset you have in the bank if you were to earn that traditionally if you had to, to save if you want to save two point seven million dollars in the bank you'd have to earn about double that wouldn't you because at least in the united states anyway the government is going to take about half of it so you would need about five million dollars you'd have to earn Ta the government takes half in taxes, and so I have 2.7 left over. Put it in the bank, and you're making $109,000 a year off an average industry rate. Okay. So, the power of what we create with the residual income through network marketing, I can tell you, my friend, is very powerful. So next time, you know, you're looking to talk to somebody professionally about your opportunity, why don't you use this graph, and you can, you know, print it off or copy it, and use it for your own your own good. So this is just an example of how powerful residual income and network marketing can be in your quest for creating real wealth and time freedom in your life. If you'd like to learn more about all these different strategies that I have that really are going to position you as a powerful expert in your business and, and build a really strong and powerful network marketing business, just log, you know, just kind of scroll down to the bottom of this page and a couple quick things. You're going to see some articles on there where you can click on more about residual income. More importantly, sign in, put your name and your email address in there, and what I'll do is I will get you uh, all the different uh, information, free reports and all that good stuff that I have on network marketing and business in general and help you become the best entrepreneur you can and give you some really powerful strategies that are going to um, position you and arm you with some great knowledge like this chart. So hope you enjoyed this training and put it to use next time you have your next appointment and um, sign up for my f uh, free newsletter and then shoot me an email. you see my contact information when you sign in there and I'd love to hear if this is working for you. This is Eric Henderson from NoNonsenseNetworkMarketing.com and be well. Take care.